Hello guys, welcome to beta code. In this video, we will see how we can download and install uh, Spring Toolsuite or you can say STS in your system. And along with that, we will see how you can uh, create a sample, a Spring Boot project and uh, run it uh, using the Spring Toolsuite. So let's start. So for that, first you have to go to any browser and search for a spring tool suit download so once you search for that you can see in the search result we get uh, 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 the official website url uh, spring.io.tools so you have to click on that and if you are not getting that i will paste this link in the uh, description also so we uh, we uh, yeah now we can see uh, it has uh, showing two type of uh, spring tool suit for download one is for uh, vs code another one is for eclipse so for uh, in this video we will see for the eclipse and uh, for uh, for vs code we will see in the next uh, any video so uh, you have to scroll down and here come inside as playing tools uh, for uh, for eclipse so here you can see different uh, for different uh, operating system it is showing here so for now we will go with the uh, windows one so you have to just click on this so once you click on this it will uh, start the installation of the latest spring tools for your system so it is uh, right now uh, downloading it so let it download first and then uh, we will uh, be back okay so now download has been completed and uh, we, we will go to the downloads folder and here we can see uh, the jar file is available so first we have to uh, just double click on this so that it will extract the jar file so let it extract you can see uh, the extraction is in progress and uh, it is uh, extracting in this folder uh, STS 4.18.1 dot release. So, yeah, yeah, it is completed now. And uh, we can see this folder, uh, we can go inside this folder and see there is a uh, application file available. So, basically, this is the uh, like uh, STS which we need to start uh, to set up our project. So, we just need to double click on this and it will start the Spring tools. Work. So let it start. Yeah. So now you can see it is asking for a uh, workspace location where you wanted to save your uh, workspace related code. So by default, it is inside C drive. You can keep it uh, like uh, like it is, or you can uh, select any uh, browse any other drive if you want. I will keep it as it is, and then I will uh, click on the launch. So now uh, you can see uh, the uh, like STS has been started and here it is available in the uh, dark mode. If you wanted to change the uh, uh, like uh, uh, theme, you can go inside windows and then preferences and here search for theme. And click on the appearance and here instead of dark, you can select any other if you want. So I'm just changing it so that clear view can be shown in the video. So let me restart it again. Yeah, so now you can see uh, this is a started and here we are getting many options. So you can create a Java project, you can create a Maven project or you can create a Spring starter project. So uh, if this is not available in this side, you can directly go to the file option and from here also you can click on new and here you can uh, get all those options. So right now we will see one example and uh, how to create uh, a Spring uh, boot project and how to start that so for that you go to the new and then uh, you click on this uh, spring starter project and here you have to uh, like uh, give the project name so i'm just giving it as demo leave it as it is and the type you can mention whether it is it should be a uh, gradle or maven so i will keep it as maven for now and these things you can also set so let me set com dot beta code as a group artifacts should be first or let it demo also demo project for spring boot here you can modify these versions as per your need and here you can uh, give the package in com dot beta code dot demo and then click on next and uh, here you can see uh, like the versions uh, spring boot version uh, which you wanted to keep it is available so right now it is the latest one is 3.1.0 uh, i am keeping it as it is and uh, as per your uh, requirement you can add the dependencies also so suppose you wanted uh, mysql driver dependency so just search for that and uh, you can uh, select that also or uh, or you can directly go inside these things so let's say you wanted some spring cloud some dependency so you can uh, 
take it from here. So let me add some testing also. Spring rest. Developer tools. Spring boot dev tools. So these things uh, uh, as per your requirement you can add. And after clicking on that, uh, just click on uh, next. And here click on finish. So it will uh, create the project for you. So uh, you can see at the bottom it is uh, showing the percentage like this is in progress. And once it uh, download all the dependencies uh, that you added, uh, it will show the project. Here. So it is showing now, but let it build first. Then we can start the project. So now you can see uh, that uh, download and import has been completed and now we can start the project. So uh, before that, first we will see the structure of the project. Here we can see uh, there is a SRC main job. So inside that, if you go inside that, this is the main application uh, for our project. And here you can see uh, the annotations are already uh, given. So these all things are uh, done by the Spring Boot itself. So when you use the STS. So this is the main project and uh, inside resources, you can see there are some static files and uh, application properties and uh, uh, the test file also got generated so you can see here and to start that project uh, you can see uh, in the boot dashboard also it should show here uh, if boot dashboard is not available here you can just search here and uh, uh, search for boot dashboard and then it will uh, come here so you can click on this and it will show like this here or it, it can appear somewhere here also so just uh, to start the project you have to just right click and then click on start so it will start the project or you can directly uh, right click here also and click on run as uh, here you have to select a uh, java application or a spring boot app if it asks for some uh, like uh, access you can allow also uh, not required so you can see the project has been started on 8080 and we can use this but for now there are no rest applications so we cannot test this one yeah uh, this is started and you don't need any extra uh, like uh, tomcat server or anything to configure because the spring boot uh, automatically it does all the, the all those things for you so this is how you can uh, like uh, download and install this uh, spring tool suit and also uh, create a project and start it so that's all for today and uh, thank you for watching this video uh, please uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe if you are liking the content uh, please comment below uh, your feedback thank you